Welcome to Margo TV. It smells fabulous here at West Elm in Breton Village Mall, Grand Rapids, Michigan. We are here with Sarah Cooley. She is the founder and creative director of Simply Curated, a West Michigan-based candle company with national distribution. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Margo. Can you tell us what you are doing here today? Um, we're here for a West Elm local pop-up. We're here until 7 o'clock tonight. West Elm has this great local partnership where they can invite any local business to come pop up for the day and sell our wonderful products. Excellent. Well, I'm glad that I ran into you. Yeah. Why did you get into candle making? Well, it all started, funnily enough, because I hated scented candles. It was never something that I wanted to receive as a gift, let alone buy for someone else or burn in my home. And so a friend had sent me a link about making soy candles, and I thought, if I'm going to make these and sell them, they have to smell really great. So I did a lot of research on fragrance oils and essential oils and the good chemicals versus the bad chemicals and what it really means to have an artificial fragrance. And they're not all bad. It depends on the quality of fragrance oil that you're using and really where you're getting it from. Well, that is what drew me over here to your display. They really smell amazing. Thank you. So what makes your candles unique? Well, aside from the fact that, like you said, I think they all smell amazing. Whoops. Um, our candles are all made with 100% soy wax. Soy wax is clean burning. It's a renewable resource. And then our designs are beautiful. We really consider ourselves a very design forward company um, where we really take care to not only how the candle looks when it's burning and how it smells, but how it looks even when it's just sitting on your shelf or sitting on your desk. It really is uplifting just visually by how we think beautiful they are. They are. So explain, like this almost looks like a vintage cocktail wear. <laughs> well, we started pouring candles in original vintage cocktail glasses, believe it or not. I was buying them on eBay from all over the country and they were all one of a kind, which was beautiful, but not really scalable. So we started by designing our own cocktail glass patterns and then pouring the candles into those glasses. So they're reusable when you're done with your candle. It burns totally clean and just washes out with warm soapy water. And then you have a glass to drink out of after. Multi-purpose. Yeah. I love it. And we need to get a shot over here of the very cool wick. Can you yeah. explain the wick? Our wicks are a wooden wick. So it's two pieces of wood that are fused together and then treated so that they burn 100% clean. And you'll get a light, like a light crackle, like a little campfire. It's just a little added ambiance to burning a candle. I've never seen that before. It's so unique. So after 7 p.m. tonight, because you're here at West Elm until 7 p.m., where can people find your wonderful candles after tonight? Yeah, well, nationally, we're in Nordstrom stores for the holidays. They have special gift holiday sections. So we're in Nordstrom's kind of all over the country. You can check their website. We're in Urban Outfitters also nationally. And then if you go to simplycurated.com, you can buy the candles, but you can also check out our list of local independent boutiques around the country uh, to find a store near you and pick them up and smell them yourself. Very cool. Okay. And switching gears here more toward the business side, mm -hmm. you are a young female entrepreneur. I am passionate about women in business. And I think it's so important that we help each other and uplift mm -hmm. each other and inspire and mentor each other. I have two daughters that, you know, I want to make sure we set, you know, great, be great role models for them. Yeah. So what would your words of advice be to a young woman entrepreneur that wants to start her own business? I think first and foremost, you really have to kind of know your numbers. You have to know that if ultimately you dream of having your product in a big box retailer or even just independently in a store, you have to know that that store is going to want a 50% or more than a 50% markup and that you have to make money at that wholesale level. So knowing how much it really costs you to make something, not just your materials, but your time, should you ever in the future have to hire someone else to make it for you or be lucky enough to bring on employees and start to grow a team, if you don't have those numbers right from the beginning, it will really cause a domino effect of problems in your business. So getting it right from the start will really solve a lot of kind of pain down the road should you have kind of 
you know, messed it up from the beginning. That's just smart business. Thank that you. is a great tip. So I will also have Sarah's links on margodrake.com, all things whole living. Until next time, it's a wrap.